Well, here we are. In the Forest Temple. The first temple's a doll link. Either way. Hello everyone, I'm Master Austin Levin, and welcome back to Legend of Zelda Ocarina Time 3 3 hour run. Last time, we made our way here to the Forest Temple after getting ourselves the hook shot. And now we're to continue pressing onwards and seeing what lies ahead in our journey to rescue our friend Saria as a sage. And I keep on screwing this up. Oh my god, you know what? Fine. I'm not gonna block anymore. Enough screwing this up. Come on, Wolfo. Attack me already. Bye bye You next, buddy. Hey, there we go. Perfect. Alright. Finally, we took on the Wolfos. Now, what we have next is right up here. Now, I don't know if I want to go closer or not, but let's go ahead and I guess... Uh, yeah. Let's hook shot up right like this. There we go. Now... We can continue on here. Now, yeah, there's a Gold Skulltula there. I would get the Gold Skulltula if this was 100%, but it's not. So I could care less, in all honesty. And I want to see there's a Skulltula. Never mind, that's only Master Quest. See, this is my knowledge from Master Quest kicking in, guys. This is literally my knowledge from Master Quest kicking in. But this isn't Master Quest. This is normal mode. This is small key. Now we can use it to unlock the door down here. So... Nice and dandy. Let's go ahead, make a way into here, and begin the temple. Let's go and hook shot the skeleton because I don't give a crap about him. And okay, we got some deco nuts. Nice. What's up? It what and what's up here? It's pretty much a sequence where we gotta take on four poses. It's pretty interesting to say the least. And as I said, the poses are the main focus in this temple, as in the fourth temple. You guys just need to take on four poses as they will disappear and the torches will be unlit and this elevator right here is going to sink down. And what we need to do is get these torches lit back up from the pose so that we can use the elevator and make our way out to the boss room. Because the elevator will literally take us directly down to where the boss of this temple lies. And guys, I will be honest, I kind of wish I had like a 3DS emulator or like hacked my 3DS to get a capture card to be able to be installed in it because... I really just, every time I come to record these episodes for this series, I really just don't like it because, I mean, I love playing on my 3DS on my own time. Like, don't get me wrong, playing on my 3DS outside of recording, I love it because I don't do it like this. I look at my 3DS screen, I don't look through my phone camera, my phone screen from the camera. It just, it's kind of painful, honestly. It just, yeah. It kind of, it's it just, I don't like it. I just don't. Okay, buddy, come on, there we go. I was just being quiet because I'm trying to focus up here, guys. Time to focus up. Time to focus up. Come on. Come on, buddy. Oh my god. You suck, Stalfos. Come on, attack me already. Attack me already. God damn. Jesus Christ. Come on. There we go. Finally. My god. I will say, I don't mind fighting Stalfos that much, but... If they're d d d being like that and just not attacking whatsoever when they're, when they're just standing still dancing around you, that's pretty annoying, only because they literally just don't attack you. It's just, it's very frustrating when Stuffos do that. But that was a fairy. Of course, we don't need it because oh, both our bottles are filled with fairies, so we don't need it. But let's take care of this bubble real quick. Get him out of our faces. And now uh, move on, because again, this temple, it's just, it's very simple. It's not that hard. If you're going aiming for 100% of this whole temple collecting everything, it can be tough, but it's not like the worst thing in the world. It's not that bad. But I do believe, if I'm not mistaken, I'm pretty sure we want to play Song of Time here and make our way through this door first before making our way through that locked door. At least I think so. I think. I may be wrong there, so don't quote me on it, but I think that's what we're supposed to do. I'm pretty sure, at least. So, let's see. Okay, Deku, blah, blah. Oh, God, okay. I only lost half a heart, but, like, seriously. I didn't like that one bit. Okay, Octorok, you just got destroyed. In a split second, he went from alive to dead very fast. And it looks like we can't do anything with this, so let's just go and hop off. Make our way over to the other side over here, where, oh, there's some Skulltulas. Now... If you watched my original 100% playthrough of Walker Time 3D, you would know 
that this was a pretty interesting section and in that uh, for some reason when I took on the Force Temple in 100% LP I don't know why but for some reason I felt like talking about uh, me swearing and how I wouldn't swear very much on the channel. I don't know why but for some reason I talked about that and okay luckily he hit me out of the platform I was hoping that he would but thankfully he hit me onto a zip platform and yeah that's a very simple bubble fight and not hard at all. And here is a big chest. Oh, I wonder. The, I wonder what this is gonna hold. Is it gonna hold the item of the temple already? Well, no, guys. It's not going to because we're not already getting it. I will say right now, we're getting the fairy bow, the item of this temple later on in a Stalfos fight. Pretty much a mini boss fight against like three Stalfos. So yeah, that's cool. But okay, Deku Baba, get out of my face, please. And let me go ahead and hook my way over here and make a way into this red switch, which is going to have the water. Sink in that well, and well, that's a pretty well. I don't know why I repeated well so many times there because that is a lame joke, very bad, and it just kind of sucks. Honestly, it's it just kind of yeah, that that's pretty bad joke, and I almost died. So I almost caused myself to die already in this temple. But hey, we're about to get right back at full HP. Yay! <laughs> Literally already right back at the full HP. That's sweet. But I do believe in this temple. Yep, from this chest we're gonna get us a small key. Yep. Small key is obtained. I do believe in this temple. We are going to need at least three what we have what we have right now, or maybe four keys. Either three or four is what we need in order to continue on this temple either way. But I will say I'm pretty pumped for this, because this shouldn't be that bad. So far, only five minutes in the video. Or, I guess, like, six, if you're counting the introduction to the temple, then that's six, but... Talking in terms of the cut in the video a minute in, then, yeah, it's been five minutes, so, yeah. But, let's go ahead, make our way through here, after using that small key, and now uh, we can continue on, and bye bye Skultula, you are donezo, and hey, we got back at full HP, sweet! I appreciate you, Skultula, I appreciate you. Now, this room, which is... Interesting to say the least. This room is a block puzzle. Now again, if you watched my original Ocarina of Time 3D 100% playthrough and watched that completely, and tuned in for every episode every damn day, then you would know all of this. You would recognize all of this from that LP. And if you haven't watched that playthrough, what are you doing with your life? What are you doing? Go watch my 100% LP on this game. It's linked in the description of the first episode in this series. And you can also go to the main channel page and find it. But, like, seriously, what are you doing with your life? Like, you're not watching my videos? How dare you? Not watching my videos on Ocarina of Time? I get it. I talked to it quiet and it was more cringe because I didn't know what I was doing. And I was very new to recording. So, yeah, I will say that. But still, like, come on. I didn't talk so quiet and have poor commentary in every video. There were plenty of videos where I had good commentary and everything. So, Seriously, what the heck? Why are you not watching my videos? Also, um, I appreciate you guys' support, because lately the support's been insane. I don't know why you guys have been liking the Skyward Sword LP so much, because before, the Skyward Sword episodes were not getting too many views. I mean, it's been, it, they were getting normal views, as, as I would expect from any other video, but uh, for, out of uh, anything, the latest episode I posted on that series has over 100 views. Like, what the frick? I appreciate it, but again, like, what the hell? What caused that series to blow up all of a sudden? I don't understand, guys. What caused the series to blow up out of nowhere? I have no clue, but, um... I do believe just make our way, yep, through here, and I want to say... Pull this out of the way, I want to say? I want to say we want to pull out of the way. I'm pretty sure, at least. So I'm pretty certain. Don't quote, again, don't quote me on it, but I'm pretty certain that we just want to pull that block back. Then make our way through here, and then go ahead. Never mind, I am stupid. Um, yeah, never mind. I'm an idiot. Okay, we want we want to push the block, not pull it. But we want to push it so it's completely against the wall, so then we can finish pushing it over here on the side. So, yeah, there we go. Okay, now. Instead of pulling it away and to the wall, let's go ahead and properly 
push the block so that it is aligned. So we can finish pushing it and complete this block puzzle and move on. So, yeah, I don't... Why did I put pull the block? I mean, actually, no, I know. Actually, no. I know why I pulled it. It's because I thought of Master Quest because... I don't know why, just for some reason, Master Quest is still in my brain. The normal mode for this game is not in my brain. Right now, Master Quest is in my brain for awkward enough time 3D. I don't know why, but for some reason... My brain keeps on going back to Master Quest, like, oh, this is how you solve this puzzle, or, yeah, you pull this bug and you do this and that. It's like, no, this is not Master Quest, the puzzles are not completely changed, they're the same as in any other real Ocarina of Time playthrough, but I don't, I just, I don't know, guys, I really don't. I don't know why my brain is still Master Quest mode, but either way, let's climb up this ladder and make our way onwards, as we have two small keys still on us. And I want to take care of these bubbles, because they are going to be a nuisance. At least a slight bit of a nuisance, not completely, but somewhat. And there we go. Perfect. Now, use the small key over here. Make it to the store. And yeah, the corridor's twisted. No shit, Navi. <laughs> I mean, does it look twisted, or does it look straight? I don't know. And also, um, I could also be taken very quickly the wrong way. Um, yeah. But okay, everyone. Here is the fight that I've probably been least looking forward to in this run so far. In this 3-hour run. And is this fight right up ahead. I'm gonna pop a quick save right now. Because this fight is not the most fun in the game. It is... Literally, remember that 3 stealth boss fight I talked about before? Yeah. That 3 stealth boss fight I talked about before? Here it is! Where now we're not fighting 3, but we're only fighting 1, but still. It's... A pretty simplistic fight, as long as you fight him properly. Oh god, okay. We got him down. Perfect. Now, for the probably hardest part about this, the double Stalfos fight. Yeah. It's double Stalfos. It's pretty nuts, honestly. It's kind of scary. I'm not gonna lie. And, oh god. No, 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 no. You will not kill me. I refuse to die. I refuse to die. No. No. Stop. No. Bro. Don't, if this screws me over, if this actually screws me over, and this fight goes for longer than I ex expected, then this is gonna suck. Take him down, come on, fight me, fight me, fight me, come on, fight me, fight me, there we go, let's go! Okay, Jesus Christ, bro, I thought I was gonna die again, and I thought I was gonna have to do this fight for a while, but, just like that... If you're lucky enough and just keep on jumping up the right time, there you go. The fairy bow is ours. And now I can actually use the Y button, so yeah, there's the hat as well. So now we can actually shoot those eye switches and open up doorways and progress on the temple without having to worry. So sweet. Now, I believe that up here is a locked door. Yeah, yeah, okay. I would take on this pole, but you know what? Eh, why not? We're in the area. Might as well. But okay. You want it to not be able to see you. Now, I noted this in my original 100% uh, playthrough game. But generally, whenever you're facing these pose and shooting them down with arrows, all you want to do is make sure they don't see you. Because if they do see you, or if you face them directly when they're in the painting, then you will not be able to kill them. They will disappear into another painting. So, yeah. But... Let's face our first Poe here. One of four. So, yeah, it's fun. But I would suggest the best method to attacking them, to defeating these Poes, is using the jump attack. Normal attacks will work, but they'll take a lot longer than needed in order to take them down. Just use a jump attack, and as I do the spinning torch to try and attack you, just do the jump attack three times consecutively, and there you go. First Poe is down. That's generally how it works. It's not that bad, it's not that hard, but that is generally how it works. You just want to do three consecutive jump attacks, and that is it. Let's go ahead and grab this chest now, and see what it holds. Now, wait, this is, I believe, going to be compass, right? Compass? Yeah, there we go. Okay, got it right, boys, got it right. But as you can tell, we have no small keys on us, so how are we supposed to progress? We don't have any small keys, and there's a locked door up there. Well, you, all you want to do is just make your way over here and take on this next Poe. Because the next Poe is in this room. Aw, oh, dang it. Yeah, if you face him like that, guys, then 
it's not too fun because he will disappear into another painting. See, so he saw firsthand how it works. And all we want to do is aim for him right up there. I said aim for him. There we go. There we go. And of course, the final painting is right here. So there you go. It won't always be that final painting, depending on how you hit him and if he disappears into another painting. But I was going to take him on. Already the second pole, we're already halfway done pretty much with this temple, guys. At this point, you're pretty much halfway done with the temple, so it's not a, a long temple. I would say the longer temples are later on in the game. Fire Temple is fairly lengthy, but it's not the most lengthy in the game. I'd say the lengthier temples are definitely the Water Temple and a temple like the Shadow or Spirit. Those are definitely lengthier ones, but especially, especially if you don't know what you're doing, then the Water Temple is definitely the longest and the hardest temple in the game. I will say... I'm pretty shocked about about the 100% LP, because in the 100% LP, I took out the water temple pretty quick, and I didn't get stuck in very many places, so we were able to take it on pretty easily. I'm honestly surprised, because I thought it would take me forever, but it didn't take that long to take on the water temple in the original playthrough I did in this game, so pretty proud of myself for that. And of course, we'll see how it goes in this 3-hour three, three run playthrough, because again, we only have 3 heart containers throughout this entire run, so, yeah, we'll see how the water temple and other temples go, because it's definitely going to get a lot harder. But we'll see. We'll see when that time comes. Either way, use the small key here. Now we don't have any small keys, yet again. And now he's going to be like, hey, watch out for the shadows and monsters. And well, I definitely want to. Because, yep, you can hear it. The floor master is coming down, or wall master, whatever you want to call it. And there you go. You just want to take it out as easily, easy like that. And you guys have some rupees. Of course, I haven't done any wall upgrades in this run so far because there's been no point. You don't need a shit ton of rupees in order to go through Ocarina of Time. You only need like a base amount of 99 in order to beat the game. And plus, you don't even use your rupees that much. You, you really don't need anything else. But yeah, apparently I'm missing a key, so that's a problem. Um, that's a problem. Um, oh, no, no, I know now. I know now. I know what we gotta do. So. Remember that twisted hallway we saw before, guys? Remember that? Yeah, that twisted hallway where it's just all twisty and turny and now you pointed out? Well, we need to make our way back there. And now, since we have the bow and arrow, remember that eye switch we saw above the door before we made our way into the twisted hallway? Yeah, we need to use our bow and arrow and shoot that eye to make the hole less twisty and turny, to make it more straight and less mind-numbing and confusing. Yeah... We literally use the bow and arrow in order to shoot the eye switch, so that then the hallway goes from twisty and turning to straight and... Uh, I can't even think of a word that rhyme with that, so... I'm at a loss for words right now. <laughs> but again, just use your bow and arrow. And there you go, shoot the eye switch. And now the hallway, as you can tell, yes, it is now straight and we are good. So let's go ahead and make our way through here and get to pressing on, because yeah... We got crap to get to, you guys. We got stuff to do. One of which being getting this, the boss key. Yeah, already we're getting this the boss key pretty fairly early on in the temple. And pretty quick in this episode, but here it is. The boss key. There you have it. Now let's drop down here, because yes, now we can drop down here as this is this new room. And all you want to do is take down these bubbles. And I believe... And never mind, the chest will not appear. Never mind, I am apparently a moron. Apparently, I didn't know that. I don't know how, but oh well. And this Deku Bob is going to be annoying, so go ahead and take him out. Now, I do believe, if I'm not mistaken, right through here we should be able to get ourselves a small key in order to allow us to progress. And it's from this dude. All you want to do is just take out his little babies. And there you go, easy as that. Yeah, not too bad, not too bad. And here is the small chest, which I think will give a small key. I'm pretty sure it will. I'm certain it will, right? I mean, right, it's gonna give us a key, right? Right, game? Yeah, there we go, and there's the small key we needed in order to progress on through that one locked door we saw. But now let's go ahead and make our way through this door, which I believe will lead us to a dead end or something. Oh, just here. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yep. Just to here. Now, I want to say... Ooh. You know what? Let's just make a way through here. Whatever. At this point, I don't care. And, ow, Bubble. You suck for that. God. No, don't you dare hit me when I'm climbing the ladder. Don't you dare. 
And also, I know I'm bad about uh, moving my 3DS away from the camera. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. I know I'm bad about that. I'm still bad about that. I can't help it, alright? I can't help it, guys. I just I wish I had a capture card so that, that way I could hold my 3DS and hold it properly for me. But also make it so I could still record just fine with it. So, yeah, I really wish I had a capture card for this damn thing. But also without breaking it. So, and have it be basically just fine as it is now. But I have a capture card installed. I wish I had one, but oh well. Gonna have to deal with this quality for this for the rest of this playthrough and the Majora's Mask playthrough. Because again, guys, after I'm finished with this 3 hour run series, I'm gonna be continuing on. After we are finished with this 3 hour run playthrough, I'll be playing Majora's Mask 3D on the channel with a challenge run. And that's gonna be of the same quality. So, yeah, I do apologize, but it's gonna be of this same generally bad quality with me having to record it like this. So it's gonna be like this, so I apologize for that in advance, but you know, it's what it is. You're gonna have to deal with it. At least for now. Maybe I'll buy a 3DS with the capture card installed from a site. Who knows? Maybe I will. Maybe. I don't know for sure, but we'll I I yeah. I don't know, okay guys? I don't know. And wait, am I even heading the right way? Hold up. Wait. Am I head I don't even know if I'm heading the right way anymore, guys, honestly. So, I'm actually, I'm stumping myself right now. That's how dumb I am, guys. I am stumping myself. Well, um, let's go and just make our way up here, I guess. Because I want to say we'll be set to use the small key after the twisty, turny hallway and crap afterwards, right? 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 Yeah, there we go. Perfect. We know what we're doing. Never mind. I know what I'm doing, guys. I know the temple and how I remember everything. I know how to do this. I'm not dumb. Whoever was about to comment or say that I'm dumb will screw you. Not really, but you know. Yeah. Either way. There we go. Now makes that hallway twisty and turny. So sick. Now we can make our way through here. As now this hallway is all twisty and turny and weird. Whoa, bro, it's so weird. It's messing with my brain. Literally. Now, it's time to drop down here and make way down here. What is time for us to explore pretty much the final section of the temple? This is basically the final section. Pretty much from here, we don't have much left to go in this temple. We're pretty much done with it at this point. And I do believe... I believe we do want to explore this area, actually. So let me go and jump down. And make my way over here. As I do believe, if I'm not mistaken, we want to explore this. Because it has um, a secret we haven't seen yet, right? Right? Never mind, I am dumb. Um. Ow, that hurt. Wait, no, we've already explored over here. Okay, what the heck? I am already confusing myself, guys, so that's fun. So then, um. Hmm. Now what? Oh, I see. Hook shot to the chest. Boom. No, crap. God dang it. Alright, come on. I know there's a skull tool up there, but I'm mainly going for, you know, the other stuff. I'm mainly trying to get back to that door, because I don't think I was supposed to head down here. Um, I might have to actually cut the video, because I'm actually like, stumping myself. So I might actually have to cut the video. Son of a... Okay. I am actually, like, stumping myself right now, guys. If you couldn't already tell by me saying it, like, three times over. No! Oh, God, Deku Baba. Okay, so we made our way through here. Now... Oh, crap. Oh, boy. Welcome to Master Austin Levin screwing himself over. Somehow, someway. I don't know anymore what supposed to do from here honestly maybe we're supposed to drop through that one area and really man okay skull to a screw really man screw you god damn 
Give me a heart. Or don't. See yourself. But this should be it, I want to say. Really, man? Okay, enemies are out to get me today. I swear to God, these enemies are pesky. And they are out to mother for duck and get me. And I swear to God, they're going to pay. But okay, let's go ahead and see what exactly we got to do. Because honestly, I don't quite remember, to be honest. At least I'm pretty sure I know, but at the same time, I don't think I know. So we'll find out, though. Okay, guys? Don't worry. Won't be stumped for long. Won't be stumped for long, hopefully. But okay, so... We at least want to go ahead and make our way along here. And... I want to say we just want to continue through that one area. And just continue progressing. I want to say in that one room with the falling ceiling, we just want to progress through there straight ahead. I'm pretty sure at least. So let's go ahead and try that. See where it leads us, because I wish to know. I really want to know, because I'd love to not be stumped for who knows how long in this video, in this episode of the series. It's already 24 minutes long, guys, and I'm already stumped. I'm getting stumped to this point. It's like, I swear to God, at this point in the fourth simple, I either always get stumped, or I just give up and say, let's just do this the next day, but I'm not doing that today. I am taking on this temple in this episode. I don't feel like cutting anything in this video because I really shouldn't need to because I know how the game works and everything, but... Okay. Yeah, no crap, Nobby. Okay. Let's go ahead. Wait, what? Oh, I see. So you got that, Skultula? Take out that one. And that. Never mind, not that one. Okay, go, go, okay. Holy crap, that was scary, Jesus. Go, wait, no. Okay, come on. Okay, bundle of arrows, wait, there's no. Oh, that's because it's unlocked. Oh my God, I'm stupid. Again, guys, my knowledge from Master Quest is freaking stumping me even in these episodes of these temples and everything my master quest knowledge is stumping me because i keep on thinking i'm in master quest and like i have to really focus on this crap but okay here we want to be really fast here we want to be quick quick as hell because we cannot be slow with this because if we are we are basically screwed all we want to do just push these like that just push these properly push them in the right stinking order okay we should be good. We should be good. Hopefully, we should be good. Okay. Good. Go, 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 Link. Go. Okay, yep, we're good. Okay. We're set, guys. No need to worry. We got the Poe up here, and we are set now, so we're all set. Now it's time for the third Poe of the sequence, and then all we have left is the final Poe, which will be in the main room. The room that we entered where they initially disappeared. So, yeah, we're literally at the end of the temple, guys. We're literally at the very end of the temple, pretty much. So, yeah, not too bad, honestly. Not too bad. Definitely went better than I expected, but there we go. Green Poe is down. And uh, I grabbed the arrows as he died. I mean, that's nice, because, I mean, now I'm fully stocked on arrows, but now we have one final Poe, everyone. The last Poe of them all. In my opinion, who I consider to be pretty much the ruler of them all. The ruler of the Poes. The purple Poe. Similar to Purple Link, who is gone, yeah. But, yeah, make your way over towards him and he'll act like he is dying or something or in danger. I don't even... But, all I want to do is look for the Poe that does a nice little spin. And whichever Poe does an extra little spin is how you know which one is the fake one. And, okay, it was this one, so let's go and snipe him again. And, yeah, that's pretty much it. Now, oh, no, no. It, the one that doesn't extra spin is the real one, not the fake one. And, of course, it's the same one. Okay. The dude, the same Poe just keeps on coming out. Come on, Poe. Oh, I see you. Okay. Changing it up, I see. Alright. I see you, Poe. Trying to be a smart aleck. Okay, bye bye and there you go. Just like that, the Poe has been defeated. 
And that is it. That is it for every Poe and generally this temple, guys. That is literally it. Now, uh, I think the arrows despawn, so whoops, whatever. Oh well, let's make our way down here to the very bottom of the temple where now it is time to start pushing these little pillars. Because I think there's a switch there. We can't access it yet. And we can't access that gate either. That's where the boss is. Let's go ahead and push this. That's all you want to do is just push this constantly. Run around. And eventually, we'll be able to open up the room to the boss door. And okay, apparently I went to the wrong part. Okay, here it is. Okay, there we go. There it is. And yeah, that door's been unlocked. Now, let's go ahead and push it again. And... This should be the right one, right? Yep. There we go. Perfect. Here's the next switch, which will open up that one. And of course, all we're doing is literally just pushing switches one after another. And slowly but surely, we will unlock the door that leads to the- or the gate that leads to the boss door. So then we can unlock the boss door and take on the boss of the temple. And it's this one over here. So let's go and take care of the Skrultula. And actually... I do believe, yup, this is where a Gold Skulltula is. I remember how I completely missed that Gold Skulltula in the 100% LP. I remember how in the one episode where I was backtracking to collect everything, I remember that episode very well. But I was going through here and I had to make a couple cuts because I literally couldn't figure out where to go and I was getting a little annoyed so I swore some, so yeah. I remember that. That was back when I was completely family friendly on the channel and where... I didn't want swearing to be a thing, but here I am now where I don't mind if I say a couple swear words. I won't allow some, the ones that are more serious, but I'll allow a couple swear words, but not a shit ton. But, let's open up the boss door and do this. I was wondering why I wasn't opening, but there we go. Now, without further ado, guys, it's time to rescue our friend Saria and truly see... What's up ahead? It's time for the first symbols of the to be completed, and well, there's no one here. Oh no, it's gonna close on us. Yeah. I think it's gonna shut on us. I mean, I've seen this so many times in the game to where now, I can't even act like I'm surprised. <laughs> because, I mean, it's shorted off in the main 100% LP, and now in this LP. So yeah, also you can see my face in the 3 ds reflection, so hey, guys. What's up? Yes, here's the boss of the Forest Temple. Phantom Ganon. Yeah. Phantom Ganon, the boss of this temple. I don't know whether I'm looking forward to this or whether I'm dreading this boss fight right now. Because this fight, it's a fun one, don't get me wrong, but it's just, yeah, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it, to be honest. I really don't. All I want to do is watch for him galloping along. Wait, where is he? There we go. Okay, got him. Okay, I really had to my 3D screen off camera there because I couldn't tell where he was. But come on, come on. Go faster, faster, faster. Faster! Come on. Okay, please say this is the one, please say this is the one. Boom, it is. Perfect. Okay. Perfect. Okay, where are you, Phantom Ganon? Okay, please say this is it. Hey, there we go. And now the true fight shall commence. After fighting, after firing arrows at him, now it's time for the true fight. Where now we play volleyball, or tennis, whatever you want to call it. I I like calling it Energy Ball Blast, yeah, because you literally fire this Energy Ball back at him, and then you can deal a bunch of jabs at him, and of course that one missed, because of course that missed. Out of here, buddy. Come on. Come on, mate, buddy. All right. Now, we just need to wait for him to fire... The energy blast, and now we're playing tennis, true tennis, or volleyball, whatever you want to call it. I don't even know anymore whether it's volleyball or tennis, but let's go ahead and deal a bunch of damage. And just like that, we are done. That is it for the Forest Temple, guys, the boss fight. Not too bad. 30 minutes for the temple, not bad. As compared to how the original playthrough went, where it took me, I think, like 40 minutes for the, for the whole temple, so... Yeah, this temple can be pretty lengthy, but it's not too bad. Not too bad. There we go. Now he's banishing Phantom Ganon to the Shadow Realm. Wow, bye Phantom Ganon. It was nice knowing you while it lasted. Bye. 
And that's it. Now let's enter the portal, exit the temple, and rescue the very first sage in the game, as we have Saria, and then I believe like four other sages in the game, and that's it. Of course, I would love to grab this hard container. The hard container is just looking at me. It's begging me to grab it. It's begging me, guys. <laughs> I could get it right now, but I'm not. Because it's a three heart run, not a four heart run. Every hard container we come by in the temples, I'm not picking up, because again, this is a three heart run series. So no hard containers will be picked up and added to our life meter. Because that will be bending the rules and cheating in this run through of the game of Ocarina of Time. So, yeah, but here we're in the Chamber of Sages. Now it's time to see Saria again and say hi. Because, I mean, Saria, we haven't seen her in quite some time, so it's been a minute. But, yeah, hey, Saria, you're Sage of the Forest Temple. Cool. Uh, totally didn't know that. It's definitely going to be on the length just side compared to the future episodes of the series, only because this contains a lot more content, and we're going to be learning a new song to allow us to warp back to the Temple of Time at any point in time. Get it? Temple of Time at any point in time. Okay. That was a very bad joke, and I don't regret it one bit. But here is the next battalion. I can't help it with the bad jokes, guys. I can't help it. I just, I gotta make the horrible jokes. I have to. It's mandatory for this LP. For any LP on the channel. For this channel in general, I have to make the worst jokes of all time. But yeah, it's just, it's sad. Every time I see that line, I will always be your friend. That's just saddening, man. It's like a, it's like a knife through the chest, through the heart. It's just it's sad, man. It's sad. Now here, it's time to see the Great Deku Tree sprout. Where the Great Deku Tree died, but now it has a sprout. And, oh god, okay, Deku Tree sprout. Why you gotta be like that, man? What the heck? What the hell? Rude. Hi there, I'm the Deku Tree Sprout. Because you started breaking the curse, I'm free. Thanks a lot. Yeah. Have you seen your old friends of them recognize you because you're a grown up Kokiri never grew up. They say children are their lives. You probably realize you're a Hylian and not a Kokiri. Yeah, we kind of realized that like EP1. <laughs> we kind of realized that EP1 of the series, episode 1, and of the original 100% playthrough. But, yeah, now, guys, some, this is the whole story of the game. Again, if you want to see me do a whole cinematics, then watch me do a whole playthrough of Ocarina of Time 3D. And just want to see me go through the game as if I'm going through it for the first time, like literally a cinematic, go check out my original 100% playthrough on this game, because it was a lot of fun to make. I enjoyed it. That was a while ago that I made that series. It was whew, a while ago. And now I'm doing this story I run. And again, you guys, and uh, I did put a community post up a bit ago, a couple days ago, about whether you guys wanted me to do a, a similar playthrough like this, but with A Link Between Worlds, where I play through A Link Between Worlds with only three heart containers, like this game, like Ocarina of Time, what I'm doing right now. But, yeah, guys. Now it is off to the Temple of Time. I just see what's up ahead. I'll include it in the video. Maybe I won't. I don't know. I mean, this video is already pretty damn long for the series. I mean... The last episode wasn't that lengthy, and here we are now in this episode with it being very lengthy. You know what? I'm gonna end it here. Thank you all so much for watching this one on the Legends of the Ocarina of Time 3D 3 hour run. Next time, join me as we make our way off to the Temple of Time, see Sheik, and see what's going on ahead with our adventure. As yes, now we need to make our way off to the Goron City to get ourselves the Goron Tunic to, to take on the Fire Temple. As now, from now on, it's heading from Temple to Temple straight on. Thank you all so much for watching this one on the Legends of the Ocarina of Time 3D 3 hour run. Thank you all so much for watching. Be sure to leave a like down below if you enjoyed. Click that subscribe button if you are new and want more content like this on the channel. Click on that bell. Click on all. Turn on those post notifications so that you're notified whenever I post a video. So that you never miss any content. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you all next time as we go to Temple Time and speak with Sheik. I'll see you all then in the series. I hope you all enjoyed. I'll see you all next time. Peace out.